I wonder if insomnia is one of Alice's many afflictions uh, to tie it into the game. <laughs> bringing it back around. We got there. So, that is not the correct save. I did some 4x3 gameplay specifically so that I could get a good thumbnail going. Or the last video we did, which was like two weeks ago. Mm. Yeah, um, uh, EA app wants to restart. That's a good sign. Been, been through the wars a little bit lately. Yeah. Either of us has had a particularly good time. Thanks yeah. in part to working nights. <laughs> Uh, you working nights and me being a complete dumbass who forgets that they're incredibly susceptible to heat stroke. <laughs> I have never seen these monsters before. Yeah, these these guys are new. They have electric lasers. Once again, we stopped at like the perfect moment. Hmm. We were just about to meet new enemies. Uh, I'm not allowed to use my dice because I used all my mana. Mm. Or my jack-in-the-box. Or even my jacks, apparently? I do not remember... Okay, oh, there they are. Jacks. Yeah, I, I don't remember the game, like, taking away your ability to use weapons. Yeah, apparently it just won't even let me select weapons if I can't afford to fire them. That's, that's weird. Your mana does recharge very, very slowly, but you need to yeah, wait that's... ages for it to even give you enough to, for one shot of most weapons. Yep. It is highly unreliable. What is this guy trying to do? Just Stuck on it in this wall. Ah, <laughs> oh, I survived the big guys. <laughs> Just get got by the little demon. Maybe he was trying to stop you from progressing. Like, no, don't! Yep. You don't want to do this to yourself. My thought was... There were some demons at these guys. We got... Uh, Lamia. It's the level 2 demon. Yeah, we saw last time. Capable of being very, very strong. Let's see if these waddling things are any stronger. Apparently not. Nope. Nope, that one's killed it. Which is good, because otherwise it would have turned around and killed me. Yeah. And it did plenty of damage, so I just hopped in and hit him with the jacks. Here's what we probably should have found earlier last time. Another rage box. I don't know why it's called the rage yeah. box. It, it looks nothing like any kind of box. Mm -hmm. Like a vial. And what it does to us looks very unlike Rage. It's a, f a full body transformation. Yeah. Cronenberg tube. Yeah, something like that. That can't possibly be an illegal gray area. <laughs> I mean, shit, I reckon Morty got away with it. True. That was when Cronenberg had limited uh, cultural relevance. Yeah, kind of an. It, it's one of those things that's both a blessing and a curse because more people are actually aware of his work now. But if you say, yeah, I really like his stuff, people assume it's because you like Rick and Morty. Yeesh. It's like, no. It's a I, terrifying fate. I, I, I'm one of the OGs who watched Video Drone when they were way too young. <laughs> Almost everyone is too young to watch video drone. Yeah. I think I was 14 when I first saw it, which, yes, yeah, so that nice. does explain a lot of things. <laughs> I remember watching it with my girlfriend for the first time, and she was just sort of like, huh, once again, more things about you are just falling into place. one of those movies that makes it a shame that James Woods has continued to live since that point. Yeah. He it, it it should have just sort of like tapped out from acting after Hercules. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's out of acting now. <laughs> for the most part. No, not willingly for the most part, though. Yeah, he's just an online personality who makes the world worse. Yeah. 
Also doesn't help the fact that... He, oh, there's the level 3 demon. Baphomet. Nice to meet you. Looking a lot like a reject from the Shin Megami Tensei series, weirdly enough. Oh, yeah. So James Wood sucks. Uh, Cronenberg himself ain't exactly a hero of mine anymore. Oh, I come. He uh, sold NFTs. Oh. Hmm, must have missed that one. Yeah. I mean, NFTs were a very brief window anyway. Yeah. Also, I think Brandon Cronenberg kind of sucks, but he's getting a tremendous amount of attention because of who his father is. So, Nepo baby there. Yeah. Um, antiviral was okay. Um, Possessor had some interesting visuals, but it felt like it was riding too much on his dad's coattails. And Possessor should have lived and died on its writing, but instead it had all these, like... 90s music video segments where she's going into other people's consciousnesses. Did you ever watch uh, the, the I think it was like um, 2004, 2005 they tried to do a mini series reboot of The Prisoner. Hmm. I, I think I heard about that. I sure didn't watch it. Yeah. The Well, you've seen the original, right? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I haven't seen much. Oh, fair enough. Um, the original. Maybe I haven't seen it. The original prisoner was a very. It's it's difficult to to explain, but like whereas, like the entire thing was had a feeling of unreality from start to finish. <laughs> um, probably in part due to the the design and the fact it was so very heavily steeped in. 60s design and clothing and so forth. The reboot basically had like you could almost feel when it was about to shift into here's the weird bit. Like you know how a lot of um, TV shows like um, Burn Notice or NCIS or whatever they'll have a section usually before and after every ad break where they're like, okay, this is us continuing the story for this season. It was like that. You could feel when it was about to do the weird thing. Almost like there was a big signpost saying, you are now entering the wacky zone. <laughs> and that's what Possessor is. You can almost feel when it's about to go, oh, get ready for the weird shit. Yep. And it's, it did not earn its surreality. No. And it wasn't necessary. Like, and it worked against the movie. Like If you compare it to something like Beyond the Black Rainbow, which is similar in a lot of ways, it feels weird from start to finish. And when it yeah. goes into the really surreal bit, it feels like it's there. Um, but yeah, Possessor, or Possession had some good moments in it, but it was just really underwhelming overall. Yep. Overall, I disliked it immensely. And I watched it because I was playing Geist, which has basically the same plot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you see um, Infinity Pool at all? Uh, nope. It's the uh, most recent one that just came out this year by Brandon. And uh, again, not that great. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised in the least. I'm pretty sure he's just a dud. Yeah, I mean, I mean he's no Max Landis, but... You know, he's... who is these days? <laughs> I mean, he 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 redefined the term "fail son" by himself. True. Um, but yes, it's just real. Like you, you get the worst part is as well. You get the feeling that there's almost something there to his movies. Mm -hmm. But it just, for whatever reason, it just doesn't get there. So they're really frustrating. Yep, I definitely thought Possessor got close, but it got so close that it was frustrating and really pissed me off and I ended up like angry about that movie for a solid week yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it, it feels like he's almost trying too hard to do what's expected of him because of his, his father rather than being like hey so here's my own kind of weird ideas yeah like if, if that is all his own work then you know kudos but uh, maybe mix it up a little bit yep Got a lot in common with Joe Hill. 
mm. uh, Stephen King's son, who yeah. also writes basically Stephen King light novels. <laughs> Stephen King novels, but he goes a little bit heavier into the, the detail. Yeah. That, that. So, yeah, the um, terrain doesn't make any sense, and our jumps are committed and also like an awkward shape. Yeah. That is impossible to get used to. Thankfully, that is one of the things that they changed first and foremost in Madness Returns. Um, the yeah. jumping in that is some of the best that I've come across in any platformer. It's also the only platform I've ever seen that has quad jumping in it. <laughs> ah. The exact same rock and the exact same death. I think before you jump onto that one, maybe take a step or two back, because it looks like you're landing on where the two intersect. Yep. And that's causing the, the ground to freak out a little bit. Not that I'm getting any better with the jumping. I mean, when this area is already janky to begin with, it's the best you can hope for. Yeah, like that platform doesn't make any sense. There's a rock hanging over it. Mm. And you have to, like, crash your head into the rock in just the right way. It looks like it shouldn't be a thing at all. And yet it is not only intended, but required. Yeah, so when, when you land on that next one take a step or two back so you're not directly landing in the corner. There we go. Better. Definitely worth saving. Yeah. These rocks have just enough lava for it not to matter. Oh, we're getting laser zapped too. Hooray. Uh, Draven Lock, I've been sitting here trying to remember this area from when I played the game, and I'm just going to say my mind purged this area from my memories. Yeah, <laughs> I finished this way back in the day, and all I really remember is the opening and the ending. Everything else is like, scene missing, scene missing, scene missing. This area seems designed to be forgettable. Mm. This is just like a transition between levels, not a level into itself. Yeah, this is your generic lethal lava land. Yep. I mean, really, it's a hub thing. We've been here before mm. to get to the chess piece world. Yeah, the, like the the others, you can say, OK, well, this is based in um, something directly from the books or okay, this is like a mining town sort of thing that you would find all over the place in 1800s London. This is a video game world. Yep. So it, It's been in 1,000 video games. So it just sticks out so much more. Yep. Perception of it thus far from viewers and stuff has been overwhelmingly positive. Yeah. And it is not a good game. I mean, I, I would say it's still a game that I remember fondly. I'm just glad that I'm not the one playing it. I'm going to remember this game fondly, but yeah, it's it's a disaster yeah. design-wise. <laughs> it's, it is like someone trying to explain a console platformer to someone that's never played a game before and them trying to make a game from it. Yeah. So much done very poorly. But yep. the the atmosphere... What the hell? Apparently the fish have a tongue grab move. Ah, dick move! <laughs> I have never... Hell of a way to learn it. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> But yes, I, I remember it very fondly. I remember loving it. But I think also the fact that I have played so many better games in the year since. Oh, yeah. Like, the sequel, for one, is such a better game in terms of platforming. Even the sequel was not, like, overwhelmingly positively received. People generally loved it, but mm. it at the time was showing its age. Yeah. Because it had so much in common with this game. Yeah. Which is 
was showing its age when it came out. And also the fact that it was a type of game that hadn't really been made for a good five or six years at that point. The, mm -hmm. the sort of um, 3D platformer collectathon thing just hadn't been a thing for about at least a good half decade at that point. Yeah. So that I feel like that kind of soured it in a lot of in the minds of a lot of people that would have otherwise enjoyed it. We got ice ghosts and little demons. This guy, you know what? I relate to this guy. The time he's, he's just I'll say. <laughs> doing his thing. You should not waste a day. Oh, my subtitles are gone. No lame oh, wonderful. excuses do you contrive. I can turn it back on. Nor tolerate delay. It looks like I'm on holiday, Kat. Wandering about, having a bit of fun. The Oracle's an idiot. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless or insulting talk should never go unchallenged. You bizarre creature. I was beginning to like you. Like me or don't, but believe me, the Jabberwock must be eliminated. Now, blow open the gates and confront the Queen. I don't have the final piece of the staff. Without his eye, how can it be done? I don't know, but you must. The situation is urgent. What good are you to me? I'm supposed to attack this ferocious creature, but I'm not even sure this is my fight. It's no one else's, Alice. Only you can save yourself. Save myself? From death? Is that it? Is that why I've come here? I'm not afraid to die. At times I've welcomed death. Not death. What then? A fate worse than death. I'm not stupid. Don't make me think you are. Think what you will, but know this. You withdrew from your world after the fire because you could not bear your terrible loss. When you answered Rabbit's call, you began to emerge from your tragedy. Stay on this path, Alice. Save yourself, and you will save Wonderland. You will restore us all. What I've been feeling, I am beginning to understand. I broke this world, and only I can repair it. Go well, Alice. The Jabberwock waits. With Griffin as your partner, you have reason to hope for success. He's the strongest among us. To find out I have no uh, subtitles during the <laughs> longest cutscene. Scene so far, yeah. <laughs> yep. And they said nothing. And up there. It's exactly the same set of options. Here we go. Nah. Yeah, they just said go kill the Jabberwock, which everyone has said everywhere for the past like four hours of the game. I also liked how the, the little demon guys were just, just chilling in the background. Yep. Waiting for their chance to stab me again. I thought we came from that direction, so now we gotta go this way. Yeah, follow the breadcrumbs. Uh, save it. So we don't have to watch that cutscene again. <laughs> yeah, but we could watch it with subtitles this time. In theory. We'd have to go back quite a ways, though. Yeah, also... It's been not like you, a while since I saved. <laughs> also, not like you wouldn't have been jamming escape the, the entire time. Yep. <gasps> hey, thanks for the boost. <laughs> Damage boost. Yeah. But now what? Uh, I want to say over where the higher up little demon guy is. Yeah, this slope is way too steep. I'm going to slide right into the lava if I touch it. Mm. Back the way I came. There's a lava fish. No, a whole lava monster. Oh, wow third version of them that we've seen. I think those are the yep. the first pallet swap enemies we've actually seen as well. Yeah. It's got the tongue. Damn that tongue. Okay. <laughs> Bonk. Yep. Is 
seems like we should go up from here because we got the breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. But they're way up above. It's getting to the point where we're going to have to like save every platform again. Yeah. It's an incredibly obnoxious thing about this game. Yeah, the, uh, the, like the again, the design of the the stages, you know, atmospheric, visually stunning, complete pick to play. Yep. I think this is gonna get us high enough, but I'm gonna definitely have to save here. Remember, hopefully that fish is not about to suck me into the lava. I do remember a lot of getting very frustrated during a lot of uh, the, the platforming challenges. Mm hmm And this is a very, very long one. Mana Crystal. Lord meets my death. <laughs> Didn't even need it. Let's see if I can dodge this. Yes. <laughs> the power of foresight. Oh, it got me anyway. <laughs> And so the fish took offense to that. Yep. Not like me having Apollo's gift of prophecy. <laughs> Just call you Cassandra. Yep. It's close to my real name. You've kept me waiting, Alice. Have you guess this is the Jabberwock. The punctualities of virtue. Also, I you and my think he has, has uh, shares the same voice you actor as the Cheshire Cat. Late, aren't you? Between your sounds like it, quite honestly. Yeah. Sounds a lot like him, just with a filter. The hours just fly by. This bit like how he's pacing while doing his villain speech. <laughs> that the best you can do? Hurl second-rate insults, they don't hurt. Your family was expecting you to come to them, weren't they? Perhaps they thought you might warn them of the danger, being close to the source as you were. But they waited in vain, didn't they? And died for their... How many of the living things in this game seem we were partially mechanical? Yeah, the, it's supposed to be the Mad Hatter his involvement. Right. Um, some of the, the creatures are meant to have been upgraded by him, such as the Jabberwock, and others, like the March Hare and the Dormouse, were unwillingly experimented on. While your family upstairs roasted Yeah, because the Mad Hatter himself is explicitly steampunk. Yeah. But it's one of those things that never really goes anywhere. <laughs> Set on fire, plummeted off a cliff. He's got more friends. Two old friends. That's just unrealistic. <laughs> no, please. No one Damn has. It. No one realistically has more than two friends. Yeah. Based on my experience, that's double the national average. <laughs> okay, if we get behind him, it looks like it interrupts his fire breath. Mm. The laser is pretty much just guaranteed to hit you twice, but if you stand still... It hits you. Yeah. Near infinite time, so at once. I think we just want to minimize the amount of moving that he does. I guess it was right about the fire breath, huh? I'm surprised. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, the foot guy almost hurled himself over the edge. <laughs> In fact, he did hurl himself over the edge. He just hit an invisible wall and he did so. Okay, you hit one, but the other died. Um, yep. <laughs> video games. Can, can we get a room? <laughs> Damn it. 
Oh, he's dead. Hey. Even though I'm on fire, I win. Maybe he's dead. Maybe we're just going to another phase. Hurry, Alice. The eye staff is yours. The troops are gathered. Everything is ready. I'll deal with the Jabberwock. You are our champion. Lead us to victory in Queensland. We're going to Australia now? <laughs> and just a classic eagle Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> Deus Ex Aquila? So that was all the pieces of the Jabberwock staff. We smacked his eyeball out. Yep, that should be you. There you go. Watch the big explosions. Um, I think it also lets you fire off that eye beam of his. That's that. I don't know what that is. Pretty fireworks? Yeah. I also don't know what the point of this freezing move is. Because it also freezes time. So nothing can, like, do anything. And it doesn't do any damage when you get frozen. Mm -hmm. And it hits enemies and allows them to just die instantly, it looks like. The only thing I can assume is that because they usually come in a pack with other enemies, it freezes you so that they can gang up on you. But there's rarely ever more than three enemies on screen at one time. We just saw me get frozen while surrounded with enemies and the enemies also froze in time. Yeah. Or as I can tell, it just literally does nothing. Okay, let's go to this new area. The chest side is blocked off with the majestic maze. Sounds terrifying on an existential level. The majesty or the maze park? Honestly, I'm not a big fan of either. Mm, fair. Guys launching nukes that deal surprisingly low amounts of damage. Yep. Spade guards are essentially rocket launcher troops. Mm hmm. That is very cool that I mean, they I... gave each of the four suits a different ability to attack. It's acceptable. But I've been hit dead on by those rockets and uh, not killed. <laughs> I think the. There we go. There's yeah. the killed. <laughs> I think the primary thing for them is that they just knock you about and hopefully bump you into the lava or off a cliff. Mm-hmm. Quite possible. Ah! Next, we're not doing a hell of a lot. And once you get past a certain point, running past all the enemies becomes way more effective in combat. Only the Jabberwock's eye staff can pry them open. This is Devil May Cry. Thank you, reminder cutscene. Quickly, Alice, you must collect 100 orbs in order to open the way. That was pretty cool. Hmm. Looks like if you hold it without turning, then you get, yeah, the purple laser beam. Yeah. Drain your mana continuously. It takes so long to charge, though. It seems kind of useless. Yeah. It's good against stationary enemies or enemies that are a long way off away. Um, if you've ever played uh, Zone of the Enders 2, it's the Vector Cannon. Nice. Stupidly I powerful. I have, but, but uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> stupidly, it was the one that um, you basically clamped yourself into place and it formed around you and then like, did the most damage out of any attack, but it took about 30 seconds to set up. Hmm. We'll go this way. Ah! 
No, rocket launcher guys, just... Whatever these other guys do. Mm. Which is similarly devastating if you let it happen. Well, they're wielding fancier axes, if anything. Yep. Doesn't keep them from being stun locked. What they really need is a helmet. Or any kind of this, body armor. This door has fangs and the eyes have faces. Someone's working through some things. <laughs> Quite possibly. Fear of doors. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I was actually afraid of, like, the look of a door. Because it would have, like, two big squares at the top. And then four large rectangles. And in the dark, if you had an overactive imagination, it did sort of look like a face with gigantic bunny teeth. Hmm. And somehow, when I was young enough, that was enough to scare me. <laughs> I mean, I used to be scared of stuff like um, transformation scenes in cartoons. Like, um, there was uh, an Incredible Hulk cartoon, which I think was from the 70s. And mm -hmm. whenever, like, I used to watch it hanging by the door. Because whenever it started, it like the the transfer the actual transformation. I don't know what it was, but whenever that happened, I used to just like duck out of the room and wait for it to finish. Whilst other people were activated on a pubescent level by transformation scenes. Well, yeah, there, there's two kinds <laughs> of people. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I, the funny thing is, I absolutely fucking love body horror, which is all about mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, not not quite sure where that that lines up. Like, what? How do you split the difference on that one? Oh, so close. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and left. No monsters this time. No less monsters. There's the monsters. <laughs> Had to say something. Their voice activated monsters. They found a way to make Alexa worse. <laughs> okay, save. Is that actually at the guide? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save and go through the small tunnel. Now use the jack so the jabber spawn, so the, the jabber walk staff liberally. Mm -hmm. There are a trillion enemies here, so. Yep. Um, if, you haven't already, if you haven't already fallen in love with the jacks, you'll do, you'll do so now. You'll be attacked by hordes of enemies. Tons of boojums and car guards will attack you, so play it safe, toss jacks at them. Yep. That would have worked there. just fine. Head to the heart-shaped gate. Take whatever path you want. Done and done. Oh no, it's locked. There are children. Yep. Um. Aha. That's where that comes. From. Okay. Yep. Sounds like they're telling me I took a wrong turn. Nope. That's actually the right way. Uh, what you need to do is, in order to keep the gate open, you need to use the stopwatch. Oh. Little shit standing on a, a activated um, button. Well, that would have been very hard to figure out. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. As soon as you see the exit, hit the clock. That's how that already locked. Um. Surely there's backup. He doesn't say, he just says, um, if you get close, he'll run off. If you freeze time, he'll stand still and you can exit the level. Perhaps we need to press the button ourselves at this point. Yeah, that would make sense. Then freeze time. Maybe. It's not letting me. Uh, hmm. That seems like a problem. A problem I can resolve. 
reloading our most recent save and then killing everybody again. I have so much healing, I could just wade through them. Now... Stopwatch... Everything will be perfectly fine forever. There he is. And, now we're and there's the door. The knife. <laughs> he deserves it. Ride the thermal drafts like a giant falcon. Is that what our friend has called a gyre falcon? <laughs> I think it's meant to be a uh, reference to uh, things that eat form. Hmm. The widening gyre. Gross. Okay, so we've only got 10 more levels to go, and then we've finished the game. Oh, that's all? Yep. That seems like an incredible number of levels at this point. Um, to be fair, the, the, the this is stage 29. Mm -hmm. So we've been through, this is what, uh, fourth time we've uh, played this? Um, I want to say fifth. Fifth. Yeah. So, doing about six or seven per per session, roughly. Yep. So I think uh, next week might be finishing this off. Yeah, some of what they call levels are actually very, very short little interstitial things. Yeah. Like, leave the lava land. Yeah, that maze would have been you know, could have done that in about 10 minutes if we'd actually known how to go. Yeah, I found the portal thing, like, immediately. Mm. There we go. A bit lucky there, if I'm honest. And I shall use the life force of your, anim of your friend to slaughter you. one guy's heart out, convert it to mana, and throw it at another guy. <laughs> Tear one guy's heart out, beat the other one to death with it. Yeah. Just like Temple of Doom. That <laughs> may have been a while since I last saw that film. A lot of these guys have been falling in the lava when they die. Yeah. So I can't steal their hearts. Like you. Oh, not quite. Sure. That heart. <laughs> <laughs> right on the edge. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> oh, God, there's more of them. Don't get the jacks uh, stun locked them instantly. Yeah, they can. slightly less trustworthy in such an open area. Uh, fair point. But much cheaper, so I'm probably going to end up using them anyway. Uh-oh, friends. Deadly, deadly <laughs> friends. <laughs> that would have been a really good damage boost if it had worked. Yeah. Skip. We saw that frequently in the uh, seesaw area. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I think that pushed us back. Yeah, it's like... We want to be up there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to pause at points, because baby faces will push you aside, but so will banshees. <laughs> We're on a cycle where if we just go really fast, we should beat the baby face. Quite ridiculous. Mm. 
jumping is still as awkward as ever. Yeah, this is a game that can fly. asks for precision platforming at times when, you know, like nothing in this game is suited to it. Yeah. Gotta draw a very clean line while, like, having all sorts of momentum that I can't visually depict. Yeah, it's... But it's pulling me all sorts of directions. At this point, it's more like a Formula One racing game. In a lot of ways. But you'd almost think I'd be used to that as well. Mm. Awkward car physics. Yeah. Damn, again. On the other hand, in Twisted Metal, you can stop on a dime. Here, not so much. True. Oh, this was a bad plan. <laughs> Let me try floating Let's see if by some to... miracle, like... Yeah, that could be a thing. Good. Not an easy thing, though. There okay. we go. Solid ground. Try and kill the bad guy. Definitely save, because this still might take a few tries. I think there was a second one, but that might have only triggered when you got boosted over to whatever the hell. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it leaves me alone for a little while. Yeah, that There's a the second one. Feel free to drop directly on my head. Yeah, I'm over here, but why? That's why. We're going up. I don't trust myself to do it in one. <laughs> You're an airborne terror. Looks like a level exit to me. It would make for a good one. Aha, yes. Yeah, something Go you're the club. probably not going to be pleased to find out. There's a lot of um, floating over steam vents in the sequel. <laughs> yeah, but if the controls are better, then oh, so that much, would be less terrifying. So much better. But night and day by comparison. Look at these trog doors. It'd be a bit difficult to burn any things if you're already made of flammable material, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe they grassinate things. That, that sounds kind of dirty. A little bit. I sure want that to happen. didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Disappointing. I'll trust the jacks to kill everybody. I mean, they're perfect for this maze. Tight, close maze. got so many walls to bounce around. Yep. So, I'm sensing a disturbing trend. Hmm. We went through a maze of uh, clubs. Now we're in a maze of diamonds. Uh, let there me might end up being four mazes. Day. Oh, great. And uh, first thing I see, if you don't know what to do, this level will be the worst in the game. <laughs> Hooray. Well, we've got the guide. Yeah. So we don't get too desperately lost. And uh, yeah, you seem to be pretty spot on. Because uh, mm -hmm. the stage after this is called Labyrinthine Revenge. Oh. Glorious. Let's see, this stage is Defying Madness. Hole in the ground. I haven't seen anything like that. Oh, 
looks like we should be able to like swim through it. Mm. Probably say before I attempt any such thing though. We basically haven't gone swimming since we got the ability to swim, though. Yeah. The worst case scenario of uh, got the the guide on standby. So. Yeah. And you've got to save right at the beginning of the stage. What? It just kicks me out. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Even the water doesn't want you. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Wonderland hates Alice so much. The more it's just like, get out of here. Yep. I mean, the uh, caterpillar said that we broke Wonderland, so now we gotta fix it. Yeah. Let's see if I can get in in one try this time. Yes. <laughs> Was not expecting to have jelly physics in. Always expect the unexpected. Oh, you got them both this time. Yeah. Aim the wizard. There's another. <laughs> what? Am I drowning? I think that's just your generic death animation. But I, all the enemies were dead. Like I don't think I was getting hit there, and yet. I died. So here's some bubbles. Yeah, they, they need me to breathe in this level. This part of the level. Wow. Big move. Brutal. Yeah. So what even is the point of this turtle shell? Uh, I mean, yeah. Previously it was like, yeah, as long as you've got the turtle shell, you can stay underwater. Yeah. Doesn't let me swim any better. It's supposed to let me jump out of water, but it won't right now. It kind of just sounds like it was busy work. Yep. Turtle shell does nothing. Hooray. Yeah, I thought uh, the Resident Evil 4 remake was utterly pointless. I get the point, though. I mean, modern audiences don't want to deal with tank controls and the stuff that was present in RE4. Yeah. So they basically just made the exact same game with the modern accommodations. Yeah. And so much of it, I mean, so much of it feels like they've altered it just because they felt they had to rather than being like, hey, let's get in all these those cool ideas that we couldn't get in last time, you know? Yep. Like, it's, it's not a bad game, it, but as you say, it just feels completely pointless. Yeah. Ryu Dice makes a fantastic point, though. At least it got us Mouchly art. <laughs> yes, Mouchly is the best. <laughs> I remember um, someone posting, like, just someone was posting a lot of um, really nice um, remake Ashley art. I'm just being like, oh, wow, someone made humanized Mouchly art. And they were confused. <laughs> Or were they? <laughs> Could have been a double bluff for all I know. <laughs> but yes, Mousley is uh, small and pure and cute, and I was very cheesed to see she took off. Yep. Also, I was saying, throws used to be like the dominant sort in the 90s. You had your secret of Nim and your rescuers. And <laughs> Rescue Rangers. All that shit. Yep, Rescue Rangers was a big one. Big awakening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's very, very clear that this is where I'm supposed to get out of the damn water. Yeah, the, so there should be, if you look around, there should be somewhere with a bunch of health backups. Uh, if the camera will not that. cooperate. There's one a. over... Uh, okay, there's a health pickup, but the edge is too steep. Much too steep. Also, yeah, the, the turtle fart huffing was like three videos ago. Yep. It was right at and the I end. got through it in one 
one full try. <laughs> yeah, t a second try, whereas it took me like an hour because I hated it so much. Yep. Uh, like that always happens. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh god, I help that I hate this bit, you're gonna be here forever, you're like, check this shit out. <laughs> I'll show ye. Oh there we go. Yeah, there we go. So robots are gonna say ye. Okay, so save <laughs> before you go doing any Never. acrobatics. <laughs> Why should I? It looks like what we need to do is open that grate mm. that's at the end of the underwater pipe. Yeah, this is uh, what, this is your big backtracky area. Actually, uh, now that I'm uh, seeing it, I'm like getting a few vague memories of it this area always reminds me of shadow man you ever played that yeah yeah brutal <laughs> um lots of go to this area to pull this switch to open this area to pull that switch to open another area yeah and everything was shadow man was a straight up like the thought though yeah Amazing soundtrack, but so very frustrating if you didn't know where you were, you were going. Mm -hmm. And very frustrating if you did. Yep. Intentionally so. Yeah. It was it was one of those games when I played it back in the day, I had a guide right by my side the entire time because of that noise. Yeah, I've never played it, but I've watched other people play it and it's bullshit in a lot of ways. Yep. Some great fan did a who we seem to mention pretty much every stream did a really good playthrough of the remake. Yep, it came out. We have very uh, similar tastes of games. Yeah, came out uh, about a year or two ago. Um, yeah, never covered any of the optional stuff that he said he was going to go back and do, which I assume <laughs> there just wasn't enough uh, to warrant going back for that. Well, mostly he said he was going to cover the DLC if it ever came out, yeah. and I don't think it did. Ah, uh, okay. So remember there was a couple of boss fights that weren't available at release that were going to get patched in? Oh, yeah. Um, I think he only did one of them. Um, I think it was like three, four in total that were supposed to um, supposed to get added in. Uh, it, let's say either there was there wasn't enough to warrant going back for it, or as you say they never got added. Yeah, I think it was the latter. Also, the original Shadow Man was his first ever Let's Play. Yeah, that's right. And I remember watching that back in the day as well. Yep, before he even got on bike. That's what we were waiting for. Great. <laughs> there is no debate as to the greatness. There's the other big horror YouTubers. Along with SGF. Much less prolific. Hmm. I was actually watching, um, he did, uh, the, uh, like, you know, he does, um, Let's Play an Hour Of, and it's just, like, a, mm -hmm. an hour of a random game. Did, yeah. uh, the first hour of Omori, and it's basically unwatchable, just he keeps doing silly voices the entire time. Yeah, you don't want to watch him do anything that's that text-heavy. Yeah. And it's, it's weird because he used, like, before, if he was reading anything, he would just read it normally or, you know, he would just react to how it was, you know? Like, whatever yeah. it said, he'd just be like, oh, that's not good or whatever. And, yeah, he's fallen into the, the trap of doing the funny voices that aren't actually that good. Yeah, he really fancies himself a voice actor these days. Yeah, and it's it sucks because that video is basically unwatchable. Yeah. I didn't watch Frog Detective 2 because I tried watching Frog Detective 1, his video on it. And not only was he, like, annoying in the voicing department, 
He also couldn't figure out the puzzles. <laughs> I, I remember watching the first Frog Detective video because um, that game is charming. Um, and I don't remember the voices that he was doing being too annoying, but yeah, the, the, now you mention it, the Frog Detective video was also unwatchable. Yeah, I skipped most of the trying out for an hour videos. Yeah, some of them are okay. Usually the, the more action-heavy ones. Mm-hmm. See, it's, it's really screwed up. I love watching people play puzzle games, and then I have to bail on, like, half of the playthroughs that I start watching. Yeah. Because people will, like, every single time, people will spend an hour on a puzzle that you solved the second you saw it. Yeah. And then they'll get to a puzzle that you literally cannot conceive of for the life of you, and they will blaze right through it like it was nothing. Yeah. Utterly humiliate you <laughs> while you're at home not being recorded. <laughs> yeah, I remember I played through the first Saw game on the 360. Surprisingly, Tragedy. not terrible. I'm not going to say it's good, I'm just going to say it's not as bad as you would be expecting. But one of the cool It has parts that are hilariously bad. Oh, yeah. But the cool thing about it is, rather than having boss fights, it has boss puzzles. It'll just have, like, a more involved, multi-part version of a puzzle that you've already done two or three times at that point. And I was watching... I'd, I'd finished the first one. Very short game. I think it only took me about ten hours or so. Yep. Um, and I was like, okay, I, I hear the second one is bad even by bad game standards so let's just watch it and see how bad it is and whoever was playing it because i was watching a uh, no commentary playthrough whoever was doing it clearly knew everything there was to know about these puzzles because it just went bit 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 done next bit and i'm like sorry i'm just trying to work out exactly what the point of this puzzle was to begin with yeah and it's like, I, I like that, you know, you can do these quickly, but you're skipping past the explanations as well, which isn't good. So. Totally, yeah. Like, I honestly love watching when uh, people play puzzle games in a way that is fun to watch, which seems obvious, but uh, it's, a, it's a difficult art to master. Fun things are fun. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Interesting take. Controversial, but great. Yeah, I'm ultimately just speaking tautologically, but <laughs> in a very opinionated way. So. <laughs> You're not wrong, really, I'm right. but <laughs> <laughs> objectively correct, but very forthright about it. <laughs> and I always thought if you were doing a puzzle game like that, the best way to do it would be to have one person who's going in blind and one person who knows everything to begin with. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that, that could be a lot of fun. That way, like, you've got both perspectives like um, you know, what, there, was a, there was one game that I really wanted to do a playthrough of at some point um, but it, I can't remember what it, what it is for the life of me now but it, it would basically require one person having no idea of anything that okay I thought you were going to just <laughs> boosty uppy over that um, no such luck but yeah, it would definitely require one person having no prior knowledge of the game whatsoever. Mm. I, was gonna I could see something like Inside being a good one to figure out completely blind. Inside would be a good one. Um, in terms of stuff like story and plot twists, the, the near games would be fantastic. I know the near games get near impossibly difficult. Yes and no. Um, some of the, the boss encounters are very... They can be either incredibly easy or very difficult. And I haven't played the, the remake of the original Nier. Uh, not yet, at least, because it's uh, free on PSN this month. So I'll probably be playing wow. that next week. That's a lot of games to get for free. Oh, yes. Has advantages. I loved the original. The original is, for all its faults, one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. Um, and the second one is probably um, the one of the best PS4 titles. Full stop. 
Um, I always joke that you can tell who's 100%ed automata because they cry like a girl, like a little schoolgirl being deprived of her doll on the first day of class the second they hear Weight of the World. Hmm. Turtle proved that being a uh, reptile has advantages. Well, we'll save this section. <laughs> yeah. For a future torment next week. Yeah, that's for future us's to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> they can suffer. <laughs> and indeed they will. This is uh, sort of a low point for the game. I mean, maybe not as bad as the section where we were tiny, but rather poor. Yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to think that I blocked all this out for some very good reasons. No, thank you. <laughs> what we just did to ourselves. Just say no to swimming sections. <laughs> well, we don't have that option because when we return, another swimming section. <laughs> and then probably more mazes. Uh, yeah, there, there are more mazes to come. Dear God, are we ever not enticing people to return? 